Don't Anywhere do that. near here. <laughs> Thank you. His art investigates identity, celebrity obsession, and individuality. Joining us live to talk about his upcoming show is the artist himself, Cheyenne Randall. Cheyenne, first of all, welcome to Sacramento. This is big news that you are in town, but you're in town for good. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, yeah, currently I'm moved to Sacramento, so yeah, this is my home. Well, welcome. Okay, so for people who may not know you. you or your art, tell us exactly what you do and why you do it. Uh, what do I do and why I do it? Uh, let's see. Um, first of all, I'm propelled to do it. It's, uh, I'm an artist, I think, by nature. My father was an artist, and so uh, it's just, it's in my, it's in my genes, really. Um, and why I do it, it's... Uh, you know, I'm a product of the MTV generation. Uh, I was raised around iconic imagery. I think most of us were. And, and so it's a uh, sort of just my palette to uh, reflect pop culture back onto itself. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it makes for a great substrate. And I'm also really into tattoo culture. Um, I'm heavily tattooed myself. So, and I have a lot of tattoo artist friends. And I wanted to be a tattoo artist for a while. And so I kind of missed that boat and uh, just brought it into my medium. So, so you were, you've been living in Hollywood for a long time. Now you're in Sacramento. You have a big show um, tonight for Second Saturday, but I'm seeing photos on the wall. I just saw a picture of Whitney Houston, I believe. How do you, how do you get your pieces? Where do your pieces come from? Um, who photos them? How does it work for you? Um, I'd sort of just take them where I find them, you know what I mean? A lot of times it started with just drawing. There's a, uh, you see a Willie Nelson piece mm -hmm. that's actually hand-drawn with pen. And so a lot of times I'll take imagery that I find in old magazines and just actually draw on top of the magazine. So it's a, you know, it's a, it's considered appropriation art, such um, artists like Andy Warhol were pretty well known for doing. And, um, and then I just kind of moved on as the, you know, the internet developed and there's a lot of imagery just floating around the internet. I find a lot of stuff. I try to find stuff that's from, you know, uh, long deceased photographers or, or uh, you know, iconic people as well. Yeah. So uh, how, stay how... away from, Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. How much do some of your pieces go nice. for? Um, it, it depends, really. Whoop, I lost my earpiece. Um, <laughs> it's um, like we have some of these pieces here that are just, they're $75. Um, I think they go up to a couple hundred dollars for like the, the larger ones. Um, these are just, these are print work. Um, so some, like I do a lot of mixed media work, um, which is like uh, collage and stuff and paint on, on wood panel and uh, canvas, and those can go for quite a bit more. I mean, I'd sell those for in the thousands. Very well, cool. awesome. Well, awesome. welcome to Sacramento. Yeah. We are happy to have you. So, by Thank the you. way, his event uh, yeah. tonight, second Saturday, uh, off of R Street, HF, H HFA Print Gallery featuring um, Cheyenne, of course. But and don't just buy today. Buy all the buy time all the so time, he can yeah. stay in Sacramento.